Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace and This is Grace. It's time for another Money Job Life reading and this will be for the month of April 2023. Before anything else, I want to say thank you to my subscriber who has been sticking around me and who has not unsubscribed yet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love you all. And for my new viewers, I'm hoping there's something about this reading that will resonate with you. And if it does, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that I have for you. And you are also welcome to write, to write a comment, but only positive comment that I welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general reading. Not everything here might resonate, so drop that's not. Take what resonates with you. And I do not sugarcoat. Okay, this is the money reading, Aries with job reading, Aries no job reading, life reading. And these are the gifts that you're going to be receiving for the month of April 2023 from Divine and from the Universe. And uh, before anything else, I want to cleanse your energy, my energy, and the energy of this space before we start the reading. Okay, for the highest good of you and me. And if you're sensitive to the sound, please adjust the volume of your phone or your computer Thank you. What's coming your way? You have the journey in reverse. Clarified by the death. The magician in reverse. The nine of wands. The Three of Cups. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Observer. Meditation brings answers. And stand your ground or the seven of wands, which is, uh, yeah, the seven of wands. Let me look at this card first. This sets of cards, one second. When it comes to money for you, Aries Collective, money has not been so productive for you because the magician is in reverse, which is the manifestation. So you haven't really manifested much of an increase in your income. Okay. It's not like you're giving up on that. I think you don't. But despite of you, I mean, you know the importance of money. You have your eye on the prize, meaning... If your goal is to make some money, you have your eye on that. But it feels like lately you haven't been really productive or doing your best. Or you're having a hard time manifesting money, extra money, what you say more. But... Despite of you not having that much money, for some of you, not for all of you, you are still hanging out with your friends. That The lack of money does not stop you from hanging out with your friends. 
for having a good time, for hanging out with them, for enjoying life. Like this Nine of Wands, you're still not giving up. You're still standing there. It's like a wounded warrior. You're still standing there. For some of you, I, I do feel that there's few energies that I'm getting here. Some of you are not, you're not forcing the idea of really making money. You're more like standing on your ground. You're aware that you're having a financial issue, but you're not doing much to change that situation. And for some of you, you are trying to manifest as hard as you can, but you having a hard time manifesting that money. Some of you, you're having a hard time going out because you don't have much money. There is nothing for you to share to your friends to pay because you don't have enough. You like to enjoy life, but it's so hard to enjoy life when you don't have the means to, do, to enjoy life. And probably that is why you're the energy that's coming your way is the journey in reverse. I have to wipe the lens because it seems like it's blurry. Much better. So, yes, this journey in reverse. Because if you look at this image, this young lady is not fearing to cross the bridge this hanging bridge despite that there is no handle on the other side she's still going with all her stuff kind of like the full energy okay this is kind of like the full energy ready to jump ready to take a journey but having this in reverse is telling me that you are not taking that journey, that you are not taking a leap of faith, that you are not moving or doing anything to change the status of your income or you're fearing to take a leap of faith, you're fearing to change the, your situation. No matter where you stand, no matter where you resonate with the situation, either you are fearing to take a leap of faith about changing your financial situation or you are not doing anything to change that situation at this moment in time. There is something here that is going to really push you to do so because the death energy is in here. The death energy is an energy of transition. This is about leaving what's no longer working for you and what you're doing is no longer working for you. The divine and the universe is telling you know, what you're doing is not working for you. So they're going to do a little bit of a push to kind of get you to your to get you off your comfort zone. To really embrace the energy of this stand your ground. Saying I am not feeling defeated. I am not here to sit down and do nothing. I am going to fight. I am going to work for it. This is the energy that the universe and the divine wants you to embrace. When it comes to money. To be brave, to be courageous, to be determined, to do something. For some of you, you've been sitting on this energy of non-action. And that's probably why the journey is in reverse and the magician is in reverse because you don't want to... It's, it's maybe you're, you have lack of inspiration 
to change your situation. Maybe you're not, you're not just up for it right now. But for some of you, it's advising for you to not do any action. This is the energy of, I think, gaining momentum. To actually, to actually be still and not to do anything and focus and close your eyes and awaken your third eye chakra here, this kind of like a unicorn icicle. Close your eyes and open your third eye chakra and let anything to come to you. Let any advices and guidance that the universe and the divine wants you to know to help you and assist you, to inspire you. And through that, it will get you to this point of, yes, I inspired to do something now. I'm not just going to stand and do nothing here right now. I'm going to not feeling wounded warrior right now. I'm going to do, I'm going to manifest because I want to be, I want to enjoy life. I want to enjoy life. I don't want to feel restricted. I don't want to feel lack. I want to hang out with my friends and I, I want to be able to give money. I want to be able to share money. The advice is also to stay focused. That despite of things are calm and relaxed and not happening right now, to still stay focused. Do not get your mind or your eye off the price. And the price is your wish. And your wish is to be abundant, financially abundant, financially stable. The things might be sleeping right now, might be slow right now. It might not give you that answers, that light that you need when it comes to your money, but just to keep going. Because you're sitting on this egg. This is something that is there. And it's waiting for the egg to crack. But it's going to require for you to be patient. To stay focused. Whatever this goal and wish that you might have. To stay hopeful and stay positive. It might not happen right away. The change that you're wanting. This change that you're wanting. But it will happen. It will happen in due time. It might not be April. It could be may because this journey is not about it's about not doing anything and that seems to be the energy you're embracing this april 2023 the divine is also wants you to meditate and the and through this is a way of saying that's how they will be communicating to you of what you need to do with your finance to be able to manifest the money that you want to have in your life not a lot of people believe in meditation not the meditation is not that easy it still ne it needs focus it needs dedication to ground yourself to think nothing but once you do it you'll be surprised how much energy that will come to you to speak to you and guide you with your problem. Or this meditation is just another way of saying to maybe find a quiet spot in your home or in the garden or in the park or somewhere where there's some peace where you could find your quiet, when you can find some quiet time for yourself. To be able to not think a lot, but just to embrace and enjoy the moment of peace. Release all the tensions and the anxiety and the problem and the stress in your life when it comes to money. And once you do so, then that's the time when you quiet your mind and welcome any energy. Positive, okay, I'm talking about light energy. To come to you. To give you clarity, to give you answers, to give you light, to give you epiphany. And welcome it. You might, really, you might realize it at that very moment in time what you need to do. 
And for some, it might take few days for you to get the answers that you need. Because the universe is going to give you the best answer they could possibly give you when you ask them for help. So April, there's not going to be a lot of moment when it comes to money, but it's going to require for you to be awakened, to stand up, to take action, and to move forward, to bring back the stability that you wanted. Because if you're not doing anything, then it will not come to you. For Aries with job, this is your reading. You have the world as the energy coming your way in reverse. Okay. Clarified by the Queen of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse. The Star. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine in the Universe. You have the Surrender to Miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Flexible. Helpful people. Partnerships and alliance. This reading is 50-50 for my Aries withdrawal. 50 in a hopeful and standing in your power energy and 50 in not stable. Okay. With this four of wands energy in the world and this four of pentacles i do feel that uh, you're losing a little bit of a control of what's going on at work it's like you have no handle to it you can't there's no stability and security going on at work it's or it could be that because of the financial maybe it's not paying you well or maybe there's just so much commotion happening at work that you're having a hard time controlling them that you can't fix things. You can't change things. And with the world energy here, it feels like you are stuck in that pattern, stuck in that mindset or stuck in that situation. Maybe for a while now for some of you and for some of you just recently, and for some of you, maybe this just just April that you're going to go through this. But this situation is not giving you the security. You feel naked in this situation. You feel like you're exposed. And you are fully aware how this job feels unstable for you. Unstable because it does not give you a good paying check, a good check. It does not give you that security. It doesn't give you that family vibe at work. And having this world in reverse, that's the energy you're going to be feeling this April. For some of you, you're having a hard time to be flexible with this situation, meaning like you're having a hard time to maneuver this problem or this situation that's happening at work. But with the partnership and alliance and help of people, you are getting enough help at work. You have good friends at work. You have people that you're really vibing well 
okay, that you get along with. That despite that you are all going through some hardship, that you bound to each other to work as a team, to help each other, to uplift each other. You're good that way. You know how to bend yourself to be available to people who need help. You are an intelligent person. You are a smart person having this queen of swords. You, you know what you're doing at work. And you're staying hopeful. You're staying positive with this star. And that probably for some of you, you are a star at work. People admire you for your hard work. People admire you for, for your helping hand. People admire you for being helpful to them, for being flexible. But sometimes, despite of us having the expertise of, you know, being great at work or being the best worker or being the best handler at work or best or being the best team player, sometimes we just go through some hardship that we have no control of. And sometimes that situation might last a little longer than what we have hoped for, but it's there. But despite of you going through this this April, there is this energy of staying in a positive light, staying in an optimistic side, to continue being helpful, to continue being available to the people that you care about at work. To continue to be a team player, to, be, to continue to be flexible. Despite of what's going on at work. The divine wants you to know, to surrender to miracle. To open your heart and open your mind. That thing can happen. That miracles can happen. That is not impossible when you believe in such thing you attract and you're pulling that energy towards you not a lot of people believe in miracles nowadays people are so focused on the hardship on their problems and all the all the technology stuff they're focused on a lot of things that they're not seeing that this little little miracles that is happening in their life it's it's actually happening the sad part is not being appreciated it's not being noticed and recognized and those little miracles are the one that helping us and guiding us to kind of go through in life. It's like a little cushion to support us. But for the ones who's losing faith that this situation that you're going through is not going to be over anytime soon, will have faith. Believe in yourself. Believe in the divine. Believe in the higher power believe into something that's higher than you that something's gonna happen to turn it around and to bring back the harmony and stability at work <coughs> so let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen Open your heart and open your mind to these possibilities. And if for some of you who are so resistant to ask for help, who just likes to work by yourself, and despite that you are so going through some hardship and you still don't want to ask for help, there is help available to you. There are some people around you offering you help. And making you aware that you're not all in this. That there are people who be so happy to assist you. So do so. Welcome their help. Welcome their, their presence. Be flexible. Be 
open your arms to them and believe because when you do so that is when miracles happen that is when all the assistance that you need to go through this and it will it will be faster to to get to the to the finish line of the situation and then embrace a new cycle again at work i hope i did not lose you aries there's a lot of energy that's kind of sneaking into this reading so i have to like jump from one energies to another now we're gonna do aries with no job what's coming your way you have the all tied up or the eight of swords clarified by the eight of wands in reverse the queen of pentacles sorry for the burp the hangman in reverse advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river and it looks like this is also like a hangman right by the book if you believe financial and material changes in reverse this is the five of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> for aries with no job One second. This month of April for Aries, April for Aries uh, with no job, it feels like you're still gonna be a little, a little bound to your mind. Meaning, um, you feel like no changes and you feel like you're going to be stuck with this situation of not having any job for quite a while because what you're feeling is there is no changes happening there is no surprises there is no news from all the people that you have turned in your application form or that you seek help It's not like you just sit around and do nothing. You're actually trying to figure things out for yourself, trying to know, trying to find out how you're going to find a job. And for some of you, you're stuck in your own way of doing things. You're not flexible. You're not um, welcoming any perspective from other people who might have actually help you to find a job maybe you're sticking with that that's why sticking with your own way of doing things and that's why probably you're not getting any result from that maybe you're having a little bit of heart head in this and that's probably why you're like what i said you're stuck but this is all in your mind you're thinking that if i do this that i'm going to get a result but what's happening is you're not getting any result this is for someone who is stuck with their own ideas of solution, ideas of doing things. And the other energy that I'm getting out of this is that no matter how much you gain perspective from other people, but it just seems like you're not getting, you're not going anywhere. You're still not hearing any news, any changes, anything, nothing. There is no movement. As far as advice from the divine, from the universe, 
they're saying is to, they're saying here is to surrender to effortlessness to just go with the flow instead of pushing your own ideas to just kind of feel that situation just to kind of hang there and just wait for the solution for the answers to come there is this energy of you needing to change your perspective this is like the hangman because this hangman is in reverse refusal to make to change the way of their doing things and this one is here is about you change welcoming a new perspective and just embrace that and listen to it this could be an advice from your friends and from somebody who might know how to find a job this is about just going with the flow and not to insist And this person might be somebody who's carrying the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's abundant in themselves, somebody who knows how to find jobs, somebody who knows how to make some money. And maybe there is a need for you to listen to this person because this person knows what they're talking about. But there is some sort of energy here and I do feel that it's kind of lingering. It's not active. That's what I'm getting. Because the five of pentacle or this financial and material changes in reverse is about not being financially broke or not, not in a lack mentality. And this is now in reverse. I think this, there is nothing happening this April for Aries with no job. But what I'm getting here is that there is a need for change of perspective in order to assist you and get you to finding job. It's not about do what I ask you to do or my my plan or the highway what's that saying again or the highway something like that <laughs> i'm sorry totally butcher that saying but anyway you know I, I i know you know what i'm talking about it's a very common saying but they're trying the universe and the divine is trying to tell you to kind of open your mind to a new perspective a new way of seeing things and kind of go with the flow and believe that you're going to find a job. If you think that this new perspective is going to work for you, it's going to work for you. But there is a need for changing perspective. Because whatever thing that you're doing is not doing you anything. It's not doing you anything because here you're still tied up. You might not be struggling enough because probably this is your idea. So I, 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 it's my idea. So I don't feel so like, you know, struggling right now because it's my idea. But your idea is not helping you. But you're not upset because it's your idea. You can't be mad at yourself. That's probably why you're not upset in here. But again, no matter what, you're still tied up. I hope you're getting my explanation. It seems like this Aries reading is so hard to explain. So many energies kind of sneaking in. But with this Queen of Pentacles here, this is an energy of being grounded and stay focused. As you see, this lady, she's grounded and she's staying focused looking at this pentacle. This is her goal. This is my goal. I want security, I want financial stability, I'm going to ground myself, I'm going to look into it. And this pentacle for me as an intuitive reader is a new perspective, maybe look into a new perspective and that new perspective might probably help you in finding a job to get you out of financial lack. 
okay? Let's go to Aries life reading. What's coming your way? You have the thinking man in reverse. Clarified by the devil in reverse. Seven of wands. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Ace of pentacles. The sun. The emperor in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine in the universe. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any pattern that stops you from opening your heart. Between worlds, unlikely, material and spiritual prosperity, or the Six of Pentacles. I'm seeing two readings here about money and about relationship because I see a pentacle here and another pentacle here and another pentacle here and I also relationship here. So I'm going to read it too. Let's start with money, okay? For a lot of you Aries, you're going through a struggle of making money. Okay, we have the devil in reverse, the seven of wands, the eight of pentacles in reverse, and the emperor. This is obviously you don't know what to do to gain money. You feel lost, you can't focus, you don't know what to do. You feel struggle, you're struggling. So you're stuck in this devil energy and it feels like it's so hard and you wanted to get out of this toxic energy. You wanted to get out of this money problem that you're having. You want to have money. And it's not like you're not willing to do any work. You are willing to do something, but it's so hard to focus when you don't even know the direction that you're supposed to be going or you, you don't even know what is the the solution that you need to do or that you need to work on because right now you being the emperor in reverse it's telling me that you are not confident about your life your money situation it's shaking you up it's it's taking you from focusing. It's distracting you to focus. It's distracting you because you're too busy fighting for the situation, defending yourself. But the focus is not there. People, you feel like people's attacking you. People, people think that you're being judged. People, you might be in your head, you feel like you have to keep fighting and keep fighting, keep struggling how to make some money. But what I'm getting here, it seems like the focus is in the wrong path, a wrong way of thinking and doing things because you are not, you're, the way you think is not an emperor. You're questioning your ability. You're questioning your confidence. Do you even know how what it takes to turn around this financial issue in your life? You kind of have that kind of energy. All you want is to have an opportunity. All you want is to have balance in your finances. To have that little glimpse of opportunity. 
to feel better about yourself, to feel good about yourself, to feel like you exist, to feel like life is possible, to live a better life is possible. And it, it's going to make you happy. You want opportunity, an opportunity that's big enough to lift you up, to make you happy, and to stay hopeful. You don't feel like your luck is going to change with the unlikely. here. You don't feel like it. And with this thinking man in reverse, this is telling me that you are not able to process your problem. You're not able to come up with the solution. You're not able to understand your situation. And you're not learning what you're supposed to be learning in this situation. And no matter how much you focus and try to understand, you're not getting anywhere with your mind. And you feel kind of stuck in this kind of dark energy and then the light energy. You want to push through, but it feels like you're stuck. You can't advance yourself. You can't move forward no matter how much you push. Half of your body is still sitting in this shadow energy, this dark energy. And advice here when it comes to money is that, you know what, Aries? What you need is to focus. Bring this emperor and this the thinking man in a bright position because with these two working as a team, you can conquer things. You can find this abundance, this opportunity, financial stability and happiness when it comes to money. But you have to think right. And what I was just explaining before, you are not thinking right. You feel distracted. You feel your focus is on the wrong angle. Set a goal. Your goal is to have material prosperity and a spiritual spiritual prosperity set that as a goal okay then focus you want money you want opportunity you want abundance you want to be happy think with the direct thoughts with the direct mind with sharp thinking and knowing. And this is what I was just telling to the Sagittarius reading that I just recently done. When your mind is polluted with a lot of confusion, a lot of fear, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, a lot of problem, it's so, and frustration too, it's so hard to find the answer. It's so hard to sort things out in your life. Because these negative energies, these things that I just mentioned, is distracting you to find your clarity. Distracting you to find your right path, the solution, the end game reaching your goal because this frustration this anger this saying oh i have so many problems i don't know what to do with this i can't focus there's no solution whatever whatever and so on it just putting a cloud to your vision and you're not seeing through but if you have that moment in time in your life 
where you could just sit down and be still and not think about your frustration, your anger, all your problems, all the things that is not going well in your life, especially in money. Push that away. Clear that cloud out of your vision. And think of your goal. My goal is to make money. My goal is to bring financial stability and financial abundance in my life. I want to get to that end. I want to get there. I want to hold this to my arm and reach it. With the clearer path here, you can know, you would know where to go. You would know the right solution. You would see what works for you. You would find more ways of doing things. You're going to somehow have this epiphany that's just going to occur to your head. And it's like, oh my God, uh, that's a new way of thinking. That's a, uh, that's a good idea, right? Because you're, clear, you're seeing clearer. You, you, there is more of this bright light coming to your mind when you push those clouds away from your vision. I hope I'm not losing you, Aries. And this is what that image is. This is what I'm trying to say. You stand there. Your goal is to attain see the synchronicity yellow round yellow and round yellow and this is another round yellow this is about you standing right there looking at this big fat ass yellow thing that is your goal that is your abundance that is your happiness the question is how are you gonna get over this water to get there there's going to be stumbling blocks. There's going to be obstacles. There is going to be a problem. But if you stay focused, you can think clearer and you can come up with a solution, with a way, with a plan that's going to get you to the other side. That's going to help you to unstuck yourself and be able to move forward. And I can guarantee you you're unlikely gonna fail. So, focus. Sort your mind. Remove the noise of the outside world, the problems and everything else and focus on your goal now relationship because i saw the surrender your intimacy here some of you aries are fearing intimacy because you're not so Believing, you're not believing that to you it's unlikely gonna work out. You're already thinking pessimist pessimism when it comes to this. You feel like you you probably have gone through a lot of relationship in life, in your life that did not work well then I would say toxic because the devil is in here. That's toxic. There's a lot of argument. There's a lot of fight. It, it, it question your ability to make a decision. You're not. It, they question your confidence. They question your ability to be in a relationship. And over time, you become this emperor in reverse where... It's hard for you to make a decision. You're doubting yourself. Your confidence is not there. That it's hard for you to focus yourself, yourself in a relationship. And so again, 
the thinking man is coming in reverse this April that you feel like what is the right thing to think what am I supposed to be thinking what you can't process in your mind this because you are still clouded by these experiences you had in the past you're still clouded by your insecurities you're clouded by thinking that it's not going to work out anyway so why bother it might fail fear is the one that in, that's interrupting this relationship some of you you're already in a situation situationship or some sort of a dating situation or maybe you're already having a relationship but then you have a hard time fully giving into that relationship because there is fear that kind of in between the two of you there is this lack of self-confidence lack of power and phobia from the previous relationship the universe is saying to surrender your fear of intimacy because the universe is letting you know that you are ready to love again here you are ready to love again and recognize all the things all the patterns that stop you from opening your heart recognize them pay attention to them know those patterns because those are the one that's going to hinder you to be in an intimate relationship with somebody that can be a wonderful relationship release fear surrender it give in open your heart because once you do you're gonna be happy and if you are in some sort of situation relationship or dating whatever this might be there is a potential with this person you feel happy with this person you see the potential with this person you see that it's a balanced relationship you see that it's there's an even give and take with this person but again you are having a hard time moving forward because you are still stranded half of your body in this fear mindset insecurities not feeling good about yourself not feeling like you can give anything to this relationship and that is what this thinking man in reverse doing is like this person is so precious and so important it's so lovely but you don't know how to take care of that person you don't know how to stay focused you don't know how to process your feeling and your thoughts about this person about how you feel for them how about and about this relationship you are hindering yourself to be happy because there is a potential for this relationship to give you happiness there is a potential for this relationship to last a long time there is this beautiful relationship that's gonna give you that balance that you never had in your past relationship this relationship is gonna give you that bright and happy life and be able to pull you out of the shadow if you let them into your heart this whole april there's a little bit of a struggle for you aries when it comes to your life money relationship and so on because you feel trapped in your own old mindset old um what's that word start with letter c conformity old perspective old cycle of seeing things of doing things and fearing to take a leap of faith these are the things 
and plus this thinking man in reverse you're gonna have a little bit of a hard time this month april i uh, this april for my aries there is a little bit of a struggle for you to sort things out in your life And this could be for all aspects of your life or for a specific, uh, uh, um, specific um, part of your life. Or maybe two or three, I don't know. <sighs> April is going to be a little bit of a downer energy for you. Because you don't know what to do. Okay? So what's, what's the gift that God has for you this April? Forgiveness. Education. Fearlessness. Endurance. This month of April, it's the month that God is forgiving you for the things that you have done for yourself that causes you to be stuck in this kind of situation. But it's also God is letting you know to forgive yourself for getting you to this point in time. That we are always the contributor to whatever happened in our life. What we do, what we end up having in our life is also our own doing. So if you feel like you're failing this time, then it is your own contribution. You made yourself fail because you let it yourself fail. So forgive yourself, but don't be hard on yourself too. This month is the month for you to learn things in life in addition to maybe some of you are going back to school to learn something new. Maybe some of you are just going to have some program or learn some new creativity, learn some new talent, learn some new hobbies. But education is also educating yourself about life, about yourself, learning about yourself, understanding about yourself, understanding about life and how you handle life. With this fearlessness, fearlessness and endurance, these are energies that the divine is gifting you to push yourself forward you need endurance inspiration determination to poke through this wall that you have put in yourself a thick wall that you have put in yourself that's why there is no moment in your life but what you need is a bit of endurance and energy. Energy to take you to the other side. Energy that has the power to go through whatever hardship that is. Kind of like the marathon. To be able to make it to the other end, to the finish line, is you have to have an endurance. And that's why a lot of people get trained before, the, to run, before running a marathon because they have to build some endurance. And this is what God is gifting you. What the universe is gifting you is this endurance. But endurance is not enough, not unless you also have the fearlessness. Because right now you have some fear to poke through to the wall that you have built to yourself. So carry this too, this April. Embrace this fearlessness, fearlessness and endurance. Embrace it. These are, thing, these are enough to kind of get yourself moving, to get your energy moving, to, to kind of change your life in the pattern that you have set for yourself or the way you think. Because right now, you're stuck. And you stuck in this fortress that you have built for yourself. Because you think you're safer. You feel safer there. Because you think it's right for you. Because you think it's deserving you. This is what's for you. 
but you're not realizing that's just all in your head and you're not thinking right and you have a fear of change and pushing forward that's why you're stuck in this cycle it's about time aries to be fearless it's about time to be determined it's about time to be courageous it's about time to go back to being the emperor that you are you are the emperor realize that you have the power that you are the power because there's nobody else can change your life only you this is your reading my dear aries i thank you so much i am sending you lots of love and light and healing bye bye